Hello my friends, hi Borci. Today I had to reset the password of this DVR. So let's get started. Dnes jsem měl za úkol resetovat heslo tady toho DVRka. The DVR uh, looks like this one, vypadá takto. Uh, this is the bottom side of the PCB. Tohle to je spodní část tištěného spoje. And I want to show you the number. Yes, you can see here. Because when I open it, it's not uh, visible from this side. Now it is running and I will show you that it works. Takže tohle je spodní strana té desky. Zorientujete se podle tady tohoto popisku, co to je za model. This uh, sticker is under the box. Tahle ta nálepka je pod tím DVRkem. This is the top size of the PCB. Tohle to je vrchní část desky. And you can see the processor 3520, some sticker, the battery, and here is the EPROM chip. This is very important for us today. Takže tady vidíte tu horní část, tady je procesor, baterka pro orientaci a tady je EPROM chip, se kterým jsem dneska pracoval. This is the back side of the DVR. There are some connections for cameras, HDMI port, DJI power. Takže tohle je zadní strana pro připojení kamer a výstup na televizi. I tried to reset the password using this Android CCTV super password application for Android. Um, it's not uh, very hard. You can use, uh, or you can read the actual date from the screen of the DVR. You will include the date to this application, and it will gives you back uh, a special password for this uh, DVR. Then it restarts, and the password should be deleted but in my case it doesn't work because i can't log in like uh, an admin with empty password so i had to remove the eprom chip outside from the device uh, and read using this Universal Programmer, read the dump of the memory from this chip, then cleared the password section or settings section and upload the new firmware or the new cleared dump inside this chip, then solder the chip back to the DVR and all settings are clear and also the password. Is clear. I will show you what part of uh, the dump I cleared. This is the original dump, this is the cleared one and uh, when I uh, compare then here you can see the differences. On the left side is the original one and on the right side is the same address table with FFF it means empty so this is the cleared one and from the position 7 8 and 0 0 0 0 I had to erase this block until it its end and you can see all those all this section 
is erased and also the next part from the position 7, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0 and then yes, I'm too high and then there are some other informations I had to leave there you can see under this block is everything original on both sides and also other addresses somewhere below yes here for example so only two blocks of informations are deleted are erased again the block of informations from try to zoom from this address this is the first block and the next block is from this address okay so erase those two big blocks save the dump to the chip and try to boot the DVR and uh, voila it works after two or three restarts it's like a new one and works well I will show you how it works now now I can use it without password Takže ukázali jsme si na videu, které dvě části toho dumpu bylo potřeba promazat. Bylo to trošku v angličtině. Jsou to dva celé adresové bloky. Musí se vytáhnout ten čip, přeprogramovat se jeho obsah tím promazaným dumpem, nahrát zpátky a po spuštění je heslo smazaný. Proběhnou tam dva nebo tři restarty, než se to celý vzpamatuje a pak to šlape jako nový. Takže se mějte. Ahoj. Bye bye.